For you to continue the tradition of hosting us for this event as our chief partner. For Dolphin, in terms of volunteerism and community service. This year we have <laughs> any details for like cadet from Alliance High School who has shown it. <laughs> staff member. present, dignitaries, corporate leaders of uh, Nairobi. About 90 years ago, offering charity, first aid care to the public. That is to train and equip some 200,000 border border riders across the country of six advanced life, uh, life support ambulances. This is in line with your government's mission to ensure that Kenya has enough well-trained Your Excellency, uh, may the Lord bless. To graciously inspect the 93rd barrage of St. John and the of land in Upper Hill, which I did for many today. I'm told there are dolphins, and then there are cadets, eh? cadets, and then ambulance in Kenya. Today I commemorate this day with you, Great St. John's Army that I see. St. <laughs> John's embodies those St. John Ambulance plays a critical role in the health of this country. They provide emergency services. And that is what makes a difference between when an accident occurs and when the patient is restored. So I'm indeed happy to report to you that since we came into government, we have been working very closely together. And Your Excellency, we now have a tripartite memorandum of understanding between the Sandy John Ambulance, the Kenya Medical Training College, and the Ministry of Health, where they are working together to train a number of St. John Ambulance people to be able to carry out their practice as first responders. St. John Ambulance has trained over 40,000 first aid responders. And this will form an army together with our community health promoters to work within the communities in our bottom-up economic transformation agenda to ensure that they promote health and that we move away from the curative services that we have been focusing for many years. Mm -hmm.